we have this expression here before us. We need to do the derivative of this. The expression is 2 sine x cosine cube x minus 2 sine cube x cosine x. Look how the cube interrelates. It's here on the cosine, it's here on the sine. How do I do the derivative of this? If you run the derivative of this through chain rule, product rule, all of that, it's difficult. Isolate your common terms. You'll find that you have a 2 sine x cosine x, which can be plucked out from each term. Here you'll have a cosine square x. Here you'll have a sine square x. This is what I have. If you open this up, you'll end up back over here. Now look, I have identities which allow me to substitute. This right here is equal to sine 2x. This here is equal to cosine 2x. Suddenly our complex expression becomes relatively easy. I am going to run this through the product rule and you know the chain rule will come in easily. It's not hard. I'll pick this as my g function and do the derivative of the f function. I will have here cosine 2x times the derivative of sine 2x. 2 will come out then I'll have a cosine 2x plus. Now do this with the derivative of that. The derivative here will generate here a minus 2. You'll have your original sine 2x times the derivative sine 2x. When you combine all of this, you end up seeing you have 2 times cosine squared 2x minus 2 times sine squared 2x. And look, you can do a substitution here in terms of an identity. If you look right here, cosine squared x minus sine squared x is equal to cosine 2x. What's the difference if I have a cosine squared 2x and a sine squared 2x? For this item, you can bring an identity. If you were to isolate the two, you can. You would have here cosine squared 2x minus sine squared 2x. That identity you can bring in is this, 2 cosine 4x. This right here will represent your derivative outcome. It will be correct. If you didn't come down to this step, it's fine because this right here can equally work as your end result, but this is a better end result. But look, if I were to do cosine 4x, I'll just show you, but I won't bring it entirely to completion. It is no different than looking at cosine 2x plus 2x. This is a sum formula. You will have here cosine 2x times cosine 2x minus sine 2x times sine 2x. If you were to run this through in terms of simplification, you have generated cosine squared 2x minus sine squared 2x. And you know this is exactly what we had, except we had a coefficient 2. So it indeed is correct. You have a cosine squared 2x minus sine squared 2x. It is good in terms of cosine 4x. Your end result here, 2 cosine 4x, is the correct derivative of this expression that you see here at the very top.